Let's talk about going from an idea to a customer facing web app. So here are usually the main components that you will need. The first one is a client facing front end. There are a number of different technologies that you can use for this. But if you want to onboard customers, you need to have some sort of hosting services that will wrap your front end and deliver assets globally and handles static files. But if you're onboarding clients or people, then you need to have some sort of authentication that is going to manage identity, connect to the client so user can actually log in. Now for this, you also need some sort of backend API or backend functionality. So this is going to secure server side logic. The client uh, talk to this, not to the database directly. And you also need a database that is going to have persistent data storage, which only the backend should be able to access. And then you also need some sort of file storage where images and large files live and they are going to be linked to your backend. Now, if you have some sort of payments, you also need a payment mechanism that is going to handle money, send web hooks to your backend on success and so on and so forth. As you can see, for any single developer, this is a very complex endeavor, especially for people who are just starting with an idea, but don't really have a technical background. In this video, we're going to look at Emergent, which is a multi-agent platform for full stack web and mobile application development. It's backed by YC and it has already more than 1.5 million users. And it's already in a top five AI builders with some pretty neat features, including the ability to build your own custom agents. Okay, so here's the main interface of Emergent, which is an agentic vibe coding platform. Now in this video, I'm going to try to replicate a platform that I've built using cloud code where you can upload your documents and then have chat with those documents using the Gemini file search API. There's even user authentication. So the user will have to use their Google login to sign up and then use this platform. So I'm gonna to try to replicate that. It's a pretty complex system. Now there are a number of different platforms for agentic vibe coding but Emergent is a little different because it has a native backend where it gives you access to database auth payments and scaling. Most of the other platforms uses separate services for these. You also have the ability to build web apps that are MCP supports, and you can deploy everything with a single click on the same platform. So it's a pretty neat workflow, especially if you just want to do wipe coding but scale your app to production level. So we're going to be building a real application and I'm actually really happy that they are also sponsoring this video. So let me first walk you through the platform and then we're going to build this application together. So the first thing is that you need to connect your GitHub account. All the, po the code is going to be pushed to your own repos. Now this way you have fully control on the data as well as the code that you're going to be generating. They use a universal LLM API keys, so you don't have to worry about that at all. So right now we're going to select Cloud 4.5 Sonnet. I am going to enable ultra thinking. Uh, that's going to use 16,000 tokens for thinking. And then there are multiple different options for agent that want to, you want to use. We're going to go with the E1 uh, stable and thorough agent. There is also support for MCPs. You can enable different MCPs if you need to. Okay, so first I'm going to uh, create a new repo for this. Okay, I'm going to just call it file search emergent. Okay, so right now my GitHub is connected. Okay, so here is the prompt that I'm going to be using. So first, some background. I told the agent that Google just released fully managed rack solution. So here is the documentation. Uh, so it has to do web search uh, crawl the data, read through it. And then I wanted to create a rag as a service 
which is going to be a full platform where the user can upload their documents uh, through the Google File Search API. They will be able to create multiple different indices and then create chat sessions with the LLM, which is going to be using this specific API endpoint. Okay, let's send this in. It actually sets up a sandbox virtual machine for you. This is where the agent is going to be running all the code, fixing all the issues and making sure everything works. So it does end to end testing uh, for you, which is pretty neat. So right now uh, it's starting up uh, the platform for us and then creating different files. Okay. So uh, from time to time, it's going to ask you clarifying questions, which is pretty neat. So it doesn't just go off and does things by its own. So right now it's asking us, uh, file search API, do you have a Google API key for the file search API or should I use the emergent LLM key? Uh, we're going to ask it to use that. Then authentication approach, which authentication method would you prefer? Emergent based Google social uh, login, which is simpler, uh, is a managed authentication solution. And then what type of uh, files are going to be supported? Use the emergent API key for authentication. Uh, go with emergent based uh, Google social login. Uh, for file types, uh, it supports PDF, text, uh, and documents. And for the UI, create a professional dashboard style interface. Okay, so I am actually happy um, with the transcription. So we're going to just send this in. Okay, so it has finished implementation. Uh, and now we can either deploy it or preview the app. So first we're going to actually preview the app and see what exactly it did. Uh, but here is uh, what the implementation contains. There is user authentication. Uh, with Google login, which is exactly what we want. And it's going to actually secure everything for seven days. Uh, there's a seven days se uh, session expiry. Uh, knowledge base management, so you'll be able to upload those documents. We're going to test this. Now it's using Google Gemini 2.0 Flash, which definitely needs updates. So actually I'm going to tell it. Uh, it's using MongoDB for uh, chat history persistence. So you'll be able to resume previous chats and then uh, it created a modern dashboard UI with Tailwind CSS. Uh, for the tech stack, it's using fast API. Uh, Front-end is React 18. Database is MongoDB and Gemini 2.0 Flash. Uh, as I said, we need to update this, right? And then uh, there's all authentication, knowledge bases, uh, CRUD operations are there, and chat session management, right? Exactly everything that we wanted. Okay, so it has completed the implementation. Uh, there were a few issues along the way uh, that we were able to resolve. Now, while this is working, it takes screenshots and then uh, does testing on everything. Uh, it implemented the whole system with all the technical requirements that I provided. But one main issue was that I wasn't able to log in with Google initially. And I just told it that when I try to log in, it takes me back to the same um, uh, page. And it went ahead. Uh, the issue was related to cores. If you have worked with Python and let's say the front end is in uh, React, you probably have seen this issue. It was tried, it was able to fix that. Now here's the platform that currently, um, how it looks like. So we can actually go and log in. So here's the main login page. Okay, so here's the interface that it created for us. Uh, so you have the ability to create your new knowledge base. Also uh, chat with the knowledge base. So let's try to create a new knowledge base. I'm going to call it O3KB. Uh, there is optional description, let's skip that. Let's create, and now we can upload a file. So you can upload multiple different files. For this quick test, we're going to just upload a single file. And uh, this is the O3 system card. So it's going to upload the file to the Gemini file search API. Uh, I think it's completed. So now we can actually start chatting. If you go to chat, you see that O3KB, 
and now we can create a new session so let's call so we're going to call this o3 chat now the ui can definitely uh, use some work uh, but it seems like the basic functionality was implemented by the agent uh, can you tell me what this uh, document is about okay so we're going to just send this in all right so we get a response this document is the o3 mini system card published on this date right and then it also added uh, sources so one of the requirements was to actually add sources the api does return sources and it cites different pages that are in the same document all right so overall it seems to be able to um, give us a pretty good summary of what exactly is in this uh, document what are the main uh, new innovations in the o3 architecture compared to the gpt family of models okay so here are the results right now these results are coming from the gemini uh, file search api uh, but seems like it's able to cite sources again so pretty neat it seems like the implementation from the agent is correct now the beauty of emergent is that it's extremely scalable and you don't really have to worry about the infrastructure that is needed in order to serve users for real apps it also gives you the ability to just save any changes to the app directly to github so you have access to your code okay so once you're happy with your app you can deploy it on the emergent infrastructure so for that, just go to click on deploy. Uh, if you start deployment, this is going to cost you 50 credits per month, but it's going to be available to you, to your users on scalable infrastructure. Here are different plans that are available. They use a credit-based system, but you can start building for free. So if you have an idea and you want to quickly put it in front of your potential customers, do check out Emergent. It's a pretty fast and very accurate web coding agentic platform link is going to be in the video description anyways i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching and as always see you in the next one